What you see here is the product of uh, my home plotter experiment. So here's the device. Um, there's a Raspberry Pi back here and a Pi TFT and then this little Adafruit stepper hat that can control uh, two stepper motors. That hat also has a couple additional PWM outputs, so it has 16 outputs altogether, and that's exposed right here in the center of the board. So you can uh, also then feed that PWM into a pair of servos to do a lifting and uh, a lifting and replacing mechanism for uh, for a plotter. So I just wanted to show you guys how this works. I want to actually install a pen in it, although it's pretty easy to do. Um, okay, things to know. So one key uh, design decision is to let these actually flow three free back through the board to just have a hole here so that the weights can dangle. Uh, how much weight is there in here? So on each side, there's about, oh, I'd say like 40 pennies and then about 10 nickels. And then over here, we've got something like 12 quarters and getting the weight balanced so that when there's no tension, this sits right about here. It's pretty critical to getting good prints to happen. So... Got a wireless keyboard here, the Pi boots into normal text. All right. I put all the source code for what I'm doing here on GitHub. Uh, hopefully you can see the screen there. Let's see here. And um, this is how I'm actually using the plotter. So you can see it just woke up here and the servos lifted the gondola off the plate. It says move pen to neutral. Neutral is a position that you should measure. So in this, the case of this particular weight arrangement, it's something like 13 centimeters below this line between the two cogs. Uh, the cogs I 3D printed, um, they're matched to this 3.5 millimeter ball chain. Uh, what else would I say about that? Holding the paper on with some magnets. All right, so I'm pressing enter. And now I can... Uh, it's saying some information about the plotter. I can say just PL, choose file, typing one-handed here. All right, so you can see I have a couple different um, files on here. The printer prints um, pickled lists of Python uh, coordinate pairs. Uh, or like paths of coordinate pairs, in which case it will pick up and put down the pen, and it automatically scales them into its print area. So uh, that plot that I showed when we started the video, that was this fourth one actually, which is not actually broken. So you can see that it scaled the data, now we just press enter. And this is what it looks like when the thing is actually plotting has sort of like a fun musical sound to it. Uh, all of the electronics are surprisingly robust and not testy. I'll probably just record this until the servos drop the pen when it gets to the left side. Um, all of the software uh, is on GitHub. The driver software that Adafruit um, provides for that stepper board uh, wasn't exactly ideal for this purpose. So one problem is the way a stepper motor works, you can basically imagine that there's um, a leading and a trailing coil and the stepper controller will put DC current, in the case of this particular stepper, 12 volts through uh, one of the coils and then shut off the other one and then a permanent magnet will flip into place and then it will repeat that process to step the motor. Now, during the switching process, at the moment where the motor's in the middle, you can, and okay, I, we actually just missed the servos dropping, but anyways, the servos dropped the gondola, so now the thing would be drawing. The screen is printing something about the uh, data. Um, so the Adafruit people tried to maximize holding torque by energizing both coils at once. 
but the problem is that um, that resulted in way too much power dissipation. That's almost like a half an amp being dissipated in this little square. So uh, these steppers then would get really hot, and what that would result in is eventually um, losing steps, probably due to current drop due to resistive uh, resistive high temperatures. All right, so uh, there's a whole bunch of other cool plots on the GitHub. Um, really, the reason I did this was to experiment with making some art, sort of like digesting uh, images down into lines and things. I, I thought this might be useful to somebody, somebody else who's trying to do this project. I gotta say, it was a really fun project, way easier than I thought it would be. Um, hope everybody has a good day.